Eliza, how do you do? I'm writing you a letter. I hope it reaches you. I know it's been a long time since you heard from me. I'm still kicking around here in Tennessee. I heard you got a new place. I heard you got a new job. I heard you got a haircut. And it looks real nice. Are you ever lonely? Do you ever think of me? I heard you got a new name. I hope it treats you right. And before you toss this letter away There's something that I've got to say Like most kids, they start like earlier, like at four on P-dubs or something, but I just had a P-dub. My mom would take me sometimes because my dad was busy racing and I, I didn't race my first race until I was seven. So I started a little late, but just had a lot of fun with it. Kept hitting our local races and then just get, got better and better, and then we're here now. Oh, well, my dad was a pretty good motocross racer, but I want to be Vincent Way and then just do my best. Yeah, he knows a lot of, like, just, like, tricks and stuff, but, yeah, he's into it. Do you always stay moving? <laughs> yeah, they came pretty positive. They, they let me do, like, what sport I want to do and that's motocross. And um, sometimes my mom even encourages me not to race motocross, but I just love it so much. It's just the love of the sport. I mean, the thrill of it, the nervousness, and it's just awesome. Um, I like to catch air, throw big whips, and it's an awesome feeling when you just rail run. Um, the creek is really fun. I like riding around on the golf cart with my sister and just hanging out with my family and friends. I love this life, it's awesome. Love you. Hey, stay focused. Yep. Can you kiss? I love you. Do you want this? Game 
and I'm still the same. Why you always hating? That's a d- shame. Gotta split the profits with the ones that came. With your other homies, share the vision. Yeah, we got the same picture. You won't catch me in the club. I like to meditate. I be higher than a bird. I like to levitate. When I ask them how they doing, it ain't never great. So I be focused on the money. Need a better rate. This job. That was awesome. Oh. He had me nervous for a second. <laughs> Good job fighting back, though, dude. Captain gotta maintain the cap. You can make change, don't change for that. Tell the whole truth, get paid for that. Bet you never fall off, you was made for that. You gotta be who you really be shine from the inside. Emery, it's your turn. Emery. Emery. Get in here, Tony. I can bring it in. Slur out a lose, never quit. And as long as you just keep grinding and keep pushing, then you'll succeed and I, I love to win it makes all the hard work just feel way better I think just you know, every kid dreams of being a champion and every kid dreams of getting that spot on a team. And that's kind of what pushes me and just love it, the love for my sport. There's definitely been times where you know you don't really want to wake up, don't want to do your motos, but you just remember those days where you're having a blast with your friends, just throwing whips or just hitting jumps, going in the hills when I was in California or just random spots like in Pennsylvania, um, just stuff like that. So just remembering those days where it's all about fun and not really about the work. So yeah, my parents were super gnarly barefoot water skiers, best in the world. Like they were on world team, uh, the USA world team uh, twice. Like my mom I think did it like two or three times. My dad did it once or twice. So it's pretty awesome. Definitely haven't lived up to that. It'd be cool to you know, be on Team USA eventually. So, um, but yeah, they're super competitive and that's just kind of lived through me. I hate to lose whether it's literally golfing, playing cornhole and racing. So no matter what, I'm going to be not happy when I lose. But the bottom line is I know it's like crunch time in my amateur career. I don't have a secured spot for a pro ride. So I have a very good team underneath me and a very good bike underneath me for from the Yamaha team, the NSA team. So there's really no reason I should go out there and not execute. So uh, that's really, I feel like the only thing that's going to satisfy me is going out setting a goal to win because I've had a lot of second places, third places here, and it's just like that, the number one spot. I still haven't even won a moto here, so um, yeah, I feel like that's really going to be the only thing. Death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed are thou, Jesus, holy Mary, mother of God, praise us, finish out the hour of death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy request, and holy grace, the spirit of thy name, and grace of trespasses, be forgiven, and grace of trespasses against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Spirit, keep my son safe, give him the wisdom, give him the strength that he knows he's been training for. Let him have fun, keep him safe above all. Lord Jesus' name, amen. Come on, baby doll. All right, baby doll. This is your chance to turn your whole year around right now. You go win right now, nobody will remember anything that you've done all year. This is your opportunity. Go turn it around right now. You're faster than all these people. Go show it.
and we're just gonna keep on going. All right, let's see if we got the towers. You drew a 36. You pulled a start, and we're on the podium. That's all I can ask for from Moto One. You're in. You're you're in championship contention. Finally do it, it feels so good. I mean, I know it's only a moto win, but 2010 was my first year here. Back on, I don't even have the class anymore, shifter bike, so. And then now, 250A, and to get my first moto win is pretty surreal, so we're just gonna keep, just try to keep it going. This crowd is pumped up. That's what we like to hear. Such a rebound. How long do you wait for this? Like how many years have you been coming? Ten, I race. Twelve, I miss. Just for an alternate spot. Thirteen, broken femur. Fourteen, we finished. I think in the last place you could finish without a DNF. Um, came back. My goal was top ten in 2015. Got it. 2016, we raced one class. You know, I got top ten. Thought I was gonna do better that year for sure. Same with 2017. 2018 finally broke through, got podiums. 2019, just two fours, we blew it in Super Mini. 20, we did the same thing, Super Mini. Podium, or we got some podiums, but no wins. Second places, first time. And then 21, yeah. We almost broke through. We led some laps. And then now, finally, second moto of the week. Dude, that's such a burden to just take off the shoulders. It got pretty close at the end. It did. I was sweating bullets. This is my seventh year here. Uh, yeah, seven. What, how old were you when you first? I was 50, so seven. I was in seven to eight and young 65, so I was eight years old. Uh, yeah, I was definitely one of the few kids in my school, if not the only one. Um, 
I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona, so it's a lot of baseball kids. Uh, you know, they're just all, uh, they play a lot of just in-school stuff, so around the state stuff. Uh, they're always asking, why are you gone for two weeks? Like, why are you gone for so long? Why are you missing all these days? Um, but my parents have definitely made a huge sacrifice um, to give me all the opportunities possible. Um, they've sacrificed missing out on work, missing out on their uh, training horses and stuff like that. Um, so they've definitely made the biggest sacrifice out of all of us to give me the opportunity to go race at this level that I'm at right now. You have to get here a few days in advance of the race or practice that even starts um, for parking situations, but that's part of the fun of this race. You know, you can go around, go to the river, you know, with all your friends, have, have that experience that you don't usually get at some of the other races that you just show up and race at and it's serious right away. Um, so that's definitely part of the fun of this race. I look forward to coming here every year. It, I, I just love the environment out here, uh, and I, I just love love how the race goes. You know how how professional it is. How all all the big sponsors come out here. Like this is the one race of the year that sort of that everyone looks at. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this race. Uh, Generation's definitely way softer than it was 20, 30 years ago. Uh, like like you said, everyone, a lot of kids nowadays, you know, playing video games all day long. Uh, I, I've, I've just always, I, I like being outside, you know, mountain biking, stuff like that. Uh, I like the adrenaline rush that you get from, you know, more extreme sports, snowboarding, stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, I just, I just don't want to grow up that kid sitting inside all day long. Uh, I feel like this, this definitely teaches you how to work hard. Um, just in life overall, you know, it doesn't teach you, nothing comes for free. Uh, you know, you have to grind for everything you get, so. How you doing, Joe? Hanging in there? Trying, trying to keep the nerves to a minimum? You're driving good, dude. I'm glad it's Cali Boys, AZ, California, West Coast. I grew up on the East Coast, though. He didn't. Well, they don't have any incidents. I told Jeremy, I said, hey, remember remember last time? I said, don't leave any doors open this time. <laughs> I think he knows now.
hug too. <laughs> Good job. Big city for the simple country life Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way I was working on the ground come the sun up to sun time Hey, I try to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leave me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, working three jobs, living out of a car Mama never told me life would get this hard Running around the world playing my guitar Baby, you can love me, you can leave me I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star <laughs> Hello everyone, Afonso Davies here. I'm Serge Knappi. Tanguy Nyozu. Jamal Musiala. Today we'll be playing Mystery Suitcase. Mystery Suitcase. Mystery Suitcase with Qatar Airways. Spiky. <laughs> what is that? It's a pineapple, I guess. Pineapple. Yes. It's a pineapple. Uh, donut? Is this a donut? Donut. Seat belt. Ça c'est là, ça c'est pour l'avion. Let's 
scared. <laughs> Wait, is this a coconut? Not coco. Like a toothbrush and toothpaste. It's a toothpaste. Does my breath stink? A model of an airplane. Uh, is it a plane? Uh, oh! <laughs> And they started their dirty aggression against this country. November 23rd, 2001. The UN War Crimes Tribunal says it will try former Yugoslav President Slobodan Milosevic for genocide in Bosnia. It's the first time that a court links Milosevic to the murders of thousands of non-Serbs and the displacement of a quarter million people. Milosevic dies nearly four and a half years later while his trial is still in progress. 2004. In Ukraine, opposition leader Viktor Yushchenko declares himself winner of a disputed presidential election. He takes a symbolic oath of office while thousands of his supporters demonstrate in the capital, Kiev. Yushchenko wins a court-ordered revote the following month. 1936. Life, the weekly photojournalism magazine created by Henry Luce, the publisher of Time magazine, first hits newsstands. And 1903. Singer Enrico Caruso makes his American debut at New York's Metropolitan Opera House, appearing in Rigoletto. Today in History, November 23rd, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press. Welcome back in our studio and in today's news, 